you know, likely this summer you're going to may, may notice more people out on those scooters in one eastern Iowa City's downtown region particularly. Yeah, they're called e-scooters, and it's part of a bike share program back for its second year in Cedar Rapids. So with that in mind, let's go live right now to KWWL reporter Ashley Neighbor talking with the city today about riders need to know before they hop on one this year. Ashley joins us live. Ron and Abby, the popular VO Ride Bike Share program back again, a bit delayed due to COVID. However, this year there are seven times the number of e-scooters after they made quite the buzz during last year's pilot program. All around downtown, you'll find green bikes and black scooters at docking stations like this one. We've seen um, higher numbers than last year so far. Um, it varies day to day with weather, but roughly a thousand or so rides a day, which is pretty impressive. Once you find a bike or scooter to use, you simply pull up the app on your phone and scan the QR code. The 150 bikes and 70 scooters are especially popular among young people, like these cousins we found out checking out two scooters. I mean, I used to ride like a Razor scooter when I was younger, <laughs> and those things are really fun. So I think now that like they're motorized, like everyone wants to get out and ride around because you don't have to like do much work and you can see everything really easily. The bikes and scooters are just a dollar to unlock and about 25 cents a minute. As for rules, riders cannot leave the designated area and are asked to use bike lanes instead of sidewalks, especially in busy areas of downtown. The VO Ride staff does disinfect every bike or scooter every time they interact with it. When you're done for the day, you can park the bike or scooter wherever you'd like or in designated parking areas and then take a picture of it to avoid any damages. I want to make sure you're not blocking a business entrance or leaving it in someone's front yard. Um, you want to leave it somewhere out of the way um, and where someone else can pick it up and use it. The scooters and bikes are give you a bit of a boost to start off, but because they're not motorized, you cannot get an OWI. However, police can still cite someone for public in talks. Live in Cedar Rapids, Ashley Neighbor, News 7, KWL. Ashley, you're handling that scooter yeah, rather very nice. easily. Very looks like a real <laughs> pro there, doesn't she? That's great. Well, the city, of course, reminding riders, make sure you're still practicing your social distancing, your physical distancing when you're using those. Also, they're advising, please wash your hands when you're done. They'll be cleaning the scooters themselves.